everyone so in this video i'm going to be going over this 27 dollar offer canadian so i'm guessing that's about 20 dollars american and in this offer you actually get a six star yellow rick all out war now i know this tune doesn't seem very relevant to a lot of people but at the same time i think it's a pretty good deal it's a six star character so you don't need to waste gear and food and other resources on leveling this tune to a six star he is still usable as a six star maybe not in war or in raids but in survival road for example his rush doesn't do a lot of damage but it does taunt the enemy and some tunes get some bonus hp of course this character was pretty great when he first came out he was a free to play tune and he was a five star made into a six star ascendable um, Rick is often one of people's favorite characters, so some collectors may even want to purchase this character. And for about $20, it's not a bad deal. As I mentioned, he would be a solid character to use in Survival Road because his active skill is really useful. A reviving active skill is always useful in Survival Road because you come up against walker tunes that can be pretty deadly with some of their attacks. Moreover, he's a Guardian 2 character, and this is where he shines to me because guardian characters are great to use on survival road because they can block attacks by the enemy. So this type of build helps a lot when you're against many walkers. Every time he performs a critical hit, he puts up two guardian shields on the two characters that have the least amount of HP. And with only a few yellow tunes that can provide a guardian shield, like yellow generation one Zeke, uh, yellow rick of course and then yellow six star glenn is another character i just think guardian 2 is a very useful skill to have the newest s class green michonne actually has guardian 2 as well which as we've seen is an effective way at blocking attacks of a variety of different sources he also has a pretty effective weapon has a high crit chance so that means he's going to get a lot of headshots on walkers and provide that guardian shield quite often so it's nice that his weapon supports his guardian shield i just think that this type of offer would be great to have in other regions because there's lots of people out there who are collectors of different characters who specifically pull on characters because they're a fan favorite from either the comic book or the show or they just like the design because this rick has a great design to him and he's one of the characters that if i had gotten him as a five star tune i would have held on to him too because he looks like a pretty cool character and I can definitely see the value in having him. And when we take a look at what else is offered, he also gets some gear, which would help level him up to um, a tier four character. You get some gear markers and you get a variety of trainers. This is a pretty good deal. So if this was actually offered for other characters in other regions, I think people would buy it. So I'm not sure why this type of offer is limited to specific regions. I think it would be a smart business move to spread it around because I'm pretty sure if it's not Rick that people are pulling for, it could be another fan favorite character. We've had $5 and $10 tune options before of outdated six stars. And one of the tunes that I think a lot of people would actually pull for, or sorry, purchase at $5, maybe even $10, is this Dwight, a new threat. Now, this character was one of the first six stars released, but he's still a relevant character because of his leadership skill. His leadership skill gives all tough teammates plus 40 attack and plus 36 crit chance. So this would work great with a Priya who has rampage because it boosts Priya's attack and with 36 crit chance increase, it means she has a higher chance for rampage to trigger on each attack. So just a simple tune like this could actually make a big difference for some people's lineup. Maybe not in war or raids, but maybe in onslaught where you're planning on not rushing. So by having a leadership skill that assists a character in their attack and producing more damage through critical hits would be a huge bonus. Even if it's not a Priya with Rampage, but even a princess would benefit from this. Because in onslaught, you don't want to rush if you're trying to score a lot of points. And honestly, I believe that there are other six star generation one and generation two characters that could still be sold for a reduced rate. $5, $10 for a character like Gator, for example. 
Gator, to me, is a great character to use in Survival Road again. He has camouflage on his rush. He can also increase the attack and crit chance of three teammates for three turns. The camouflage is really nice against walkers because if your team is camouflaged, it means the walkers can't see you, which means they won't move for that turn. It's also usable against human enemies because if your team is camouflaged, it means only primary damage can affect them. So collateral damage won't, payback damage will only hit the one character. There's just a few examples of abilities. So like a splash weapon will only hit the primary target if your team is camouflaged. And another example of a tune that some people would buy for like five or ten dollars would be Six Star Cal. He's another guardian tune, so he would be really effective against walker stages. And I just think that having some of these deals available in other regions would really promote people understanding the game a little bit more. Because if we only see heavy hitters all the time, we sometimes forget about the other aspects of the game that really make a team synergetic or what makes a tune really effective at Onslaught, Survival Road, Raids, War, Taking Towers, and so on. So just having some other options available. So guys, let me know in the comment section below if there's any generation 1 or 2 6 star tunes that you would like to see for sale for say 5 or $10 and just let me know why. Like, are they a favorite tune of yours? Are they really effective at Onslaught or Survival Road? Or did they just have a cool design? Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and listening to my video.